In one of our previous videos, we modeled this cool uh, game character, and then we learned how to export the normal map and brought it into Substance Painter. I actually took the time and I created the textures for this character in Substance Painter. Let me show you. So here it is in Substance Painter, and this is what I decided to go with. I was kind of uh, having fun playing around but I'm pretty happy with the way he came out. So in this video, what I would like to do is I would like to take this character, export all the textures and bring it into Maya, but bring it into Maya using the uh, Maya uh, Substance Painter plugin. So let's take a look at that and see how it works. Um, if you guys want to follow along, I actually um, uploaded this file for you. You can grab it for free without any registration. Just uh, hop over to this link. And once you uh, get over here, it's just the screenshot with the uh, link. So there's nothing, there's no registration or any kind of um, um, tricks. Just simply download this file. It's going to be the OBJ file with all the textures for this character. All right, so this way uh, we can all be on the same page and follow along. So what I'm going to do is go to File, Export Textures. And for uh, this character specifically, to bring him to Maya, what I'm going to choose is PBR Metallic Roughness. And the reason I'm doing that is so I can have the following uh, textures. Base color, emissive, height, metallic, normal, and roughness. So I've already done uh, the export. So you uh, download the file and let's meet in Maya uh, together. All right, so here I am in Maya. What I'm gonna do next is just simply bring the OBJ file in by finding it on my um, computer. So you guys should have exactly the same uh, experience bringing this character in. And now, uh, usually what I do is I assign a uh, new material and I go to Arnold and then I do the AI standard surface and then I uh, go through and plug in every single texture for uh, this character. But today what I would like to do is I would like to take a, a, a look at the Substance plugin here in Maya 2022. And I believe it's in earlier versions as well. Um, if you don't have the Substance plugin, all you need to do is go to Windows, Settings and Preferences, Plugin Manager, and in the Plugin Manager just type in Substance. Once you do, you will see that there's four um, tools here or four plugins. Make sure they're, they're all loaded and auto load is uh, checked. And as soon as you check these, you should have this tab appear in your shelf. So let's take a look and see how this works. Um, I'm going to click on this button right here, uh, apply workflow to maps. And from the drop down, I'm just going to select Arnold and just like here, instead of plugging this all manually, uh, this plugin will allow us to do all the maps automatically at, this, at, at the uh, same time with just one mouse click. So let's check this out. Select multiple maps. I'm going to click on this um, button and go to textures, go to the standard, and I'm just going to select all the textures that uh, are PNG and say select. And then you can see that they have been populated uh, here in my workflow automatically. Now I'm just going to say apply. And as soon, as soon as I said apply, nothing happens to the character. But if we go into Hypershade, we can see that a new network has been created. And it's called AI Standard Surface 2. The reason it's 2 is because I just used one as a test to show you guys, right? So. On my end, it actually created something called two. If I wanted to, I can actually rename this called AI Rockman or AI Thing, whatever you want. Um, so you can rename it. And then what you can do is just simply select the character, right click on this new material and say assign material to selection. Once you've done that, make sure you click on this button here to see the textures. And you can see that um, they have been applied, but of course there's no lights, so it's it's very dark. So let's go ahead and go to Arnold, Lights, Sky Dome Light. Let's turn that on and go to Lighting and say Use All Lights. 
So we uh, have something like this. Now by default, this is a uh, light that doesn't have any good reflections because it's just a solid white color, right? So let's go ahead and uh, plug in an HDR map. Now if you go to Google and just type in free HDR, uh, you can see there's some few, uh, good options. One of the options is this website called Polyhaven, which I think is great. And you can actually click on Browse HDR Eyes. And they have many, many different options. So go ahead and just select the one you like. Um, I chose to go to Studio. And if you just select any one of these, you can switch your option to HDR. And that's what you need for Maya. And just go ahead and download either a 2K or a 4K map. I downloaded 4K on mine. And once you download it, um, you should be able to just go to Maya and simply choose it by clicking on this button here, color. I'm going to go to file. I'm going to navigate to my HDR map. All right, say open. And now you can see that um, the reflections are much, much better than just simple, uh, simple uh, white background color, right? And you can, of course, try different maps and see that they all are going to have slightly different reflections and they change the characters look dramatically. Another thing that I like to do is if you go to uh, lighting, you can, of course, I'm sorry, if you go to show, you can, of course, turn off the lights and just have the character. Um, we can also, of course, move them up. Maybe he can be on top of the grid. And he's definitely way too reflective. So if I right click and go to material attributes, I can take uh, this weight of the specular uh, weight and just simply dial this down a little bit. So maybe something like this makes a little more sense. And you can see that everything has been plugged in. The emission is plugged in, the normal map is plugged in and all the settings uh, have been set automatically. Now, one thing I do want to point out, um, if you go into geometry and click click on buff mapping, uh, you can then click on this button here to go uh, out. And in here, um, you have something called flip RGB on R and G. And in this case, it's kind of hard to tell, but if we uh, attempt to run a render, on this so like if I go into these render settings here and maybe set my presets to something like 1k right and I'm not even gonna change anything else and just simply see how that looks just go ahead and render that for a second um, you can see that it looks like the normals could be flipped into another direction um, and maybe it's kinda hard to tell but if I zoom in We could play and see if we can flip these. And I want to show you this setting uh, in case sometimes if you are bringing your characters from Substance Painter with your own own uh, normal map, uh, keep in mind you can flip the the direction of your normal. So right now, uh, actually, it looks like it's raised, and before it made more sense where it's going in, and you can do the same thing here, flip G uh, channel, the green channel. So keep that in mind and maybe find a setting that looks good and makes sense with your normal map. Actually, uh, I'm going to leave this one on and I think this uh, looks really good. It looks like it's actually going in indenting. So make sure it's, it's facing the proper direction, your normal map. So it's a uh, really cool way to quickly um, plug in your textures from Substance Painter automatically by just simply using the Substance plugin. All right, so the reason I'm also giving this file away is because I'm planning on making another tutorial tutorial in the next couple days um, showing how to rig this character using Human IK. So we can actually uh, set up a Human IK skeleton and then um, go ahead and animate this guy maybe with some uh, fun uh, animations and then maybe even bring it into unity for a quick test so i hope you uh, found this useful and i'll see you in the next video